Come in. I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot them on your way in. Now, before we begin... Ah, to whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? If I was speaking to the first guy, then I would say, sit down. Let's be civilized. Enjoy some food. But we tried that before, didn't we? At our first meeting? You sat right here. Paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one. I stood just like this. And what were my exact words? Ah. Stay here. Enjoy the Crab Rangoon. Don't move. I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away, together, and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy. You didn't listen. Decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I call a do-over. Hmm? I say you have two choices. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down, enjoy some food, and you and I will go scatter your mother's ashes together. Megan's dead. Good, brother. It's finally over. Did you find Lakshmana? No. I don't know what it is. I guess it's not important. Here, that's free, brother. That's all that matters. Come out and celebrate, like Mohan would have wanted you to. That's it then. No more mayhem and destruction. I need up the old rocket lodger. <laughs> All right. I really love what you've done with the place. Uh, It'll be sad to see you go. Put it on the shelf, as it were. Gathering dust. Unless. <coughs> some unfinished business, perhaps. Huh? Loose ends to snip. Or people to kill. That's why I just said, Donald. It's Yogi, you prat. Smoke. Smoke? Not this time. Rajgad are confused and disorganized. You should strike while the iron is hot and seize the fortress for the golden path. 